My channel is all about finding reasons to be happy and then sharing that. Well, here's our reason today. If you would have asked me six months ago if I would be baking a cake pretty much all by myself, I would have said, you're freaking crazy. And that makes me really happy. But what makes me even happier is I'm making this cake for my nieces who are coming to visit tomorrow. Imagine that, me making a cake for them. Oh, by the way, I was at a wedding last weekend. It was so emotional. Even the cake was in tears. <laughs> I think I'm gonna burp again. <laughs> okay. For my European sponge cake recipe, you'll need these ingredients. Your oven preheated. 350 and your 9 inch cake pans lined with parchment paper. I've got six room temperature eggs already in my bowl. Cracking eggs doesn't work very well for me and if you want to see why, just watch my video called Kitchen Klutzes to see how really bad that turned out. I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to beat these eggs on high for one minute. I've got my sugar that I'm going to gradually add to my eggs. I'm gonna finish adding the sugar. Alexa! Set the timer for eight minutes. I'm gonna let this beat on high for eight minutes now. While this is beating, I wanted to tell you about a documentary I just saw about sponges. It was so absorbing. Alexa, stop. Ooh, the egg mixture is so fluffy. That's exactly what we need. Here's what they actually look like. I've never seen eggs this color before. They actually look kind of silvery. Ooh, I'm really excited I'm making this cake. My next step is to sift the flour into the eggs and then gradually fold it in until it disappears. My mom's gonna help me because if I set the sifter down, the eggs will be no more. Okay Natalie, let's see what we're gonna do here. You hold the sifter over the eggs and I am going to pour it into the sifter. We're just gonna do a third at a time. So now you just gently move that around like Tap it 
here to get it to go into the, like that. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Tap it. Keep going. I've never folded eggs before. I've never sifted flour before. I needed a little help there, but I think it's going really well, and I think this cake is turning out really good. We were able to fold in all the flour. My mom helped, because I'm just not able to move my arm like that. And here's what it looks like. I'm going to divide this equally into my two pans. You need to put it in the oven right away, but don't open the oven. Use your oven light, because that's what it's for, and I'm going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes, or until it's golden brown. Howdy, I'm back, and voila! Those are my finished sponge cakes. Although, I didn't make them all on my own. There's a lot of stuff I could do. I'm touching the sponge cake and it even feels spongy, which kind of feels kind of cool. So I, I've heard Sponge cake usually served in small pieces with chocolate fondue. Well, here's how I'm serving it tomorrow night. For my nieces, I'm going to serve it with vanilla ice cream, because kids love ice cream. And for us adults, chocolate sauce. Mmm, yum. I will try to get pictures of that and put them in the video. But let me just tell you, it's gonna be great. Yum. Can't wait. Mm -hmm.